of the country, you have to serve certain sections of the society. Yes, your job is protected, you are taken care of, you will be treated as a son-in-law for the rest of your life by the state, at the cost of state. But it is not a job. Why I am making this statement is, at 2 o'clock in the night also you will get a call and you will be told to do something. You cannot say, sir, it is 2 in the night, I am off duty. There is a statement, no? a soldier is never off duty. So you are a civil soldier. You may not be a military soldier, but definitely you are a civil soldier. Be it IPS, be it IAS or something. Very recently one incident happened in Aurangabad. Well, not, not very recently, recently the couple, couple of years before. The, uh, the, the district collector was on leave, leave and without intimidating anybody, the SP also left the district, left, left the state, came, came to Hyderabad. A small incident happened. The government inquired the location of both. Both said, one said I am out of the district, one said I am out of the state. What does it mean? The sense of accountability is missing in both of them. Same day, district collector removed, same day, SP removed. If one removal of that nature happens in your career, you are out of the race for the top position. What does it demand? It is demanding a certain sense of responsibility and accountability in you. Why I am making this statement today is, from today onwards, till such time you retire from service, you should have that sense of accountability and responsibility in you. From today till the date you retire. Why from today? Because see, the UPSC journey of preparation, don't think that you are preparing for an exam. No, it is you are getting ready for a journey. That's the reason why Deliberately, the examination has been designed in a particular way that it demands you to change your attitude. And if somebody feels they can pass this exam with their intelligence or aptitude, I can bet my entire life's earnings, you cannot do it. It is not a test of your aptitude or skill, no. It is a test of your attitude. So with intelligence, you cannot win over UPS. You have to have that commitment towards UPSC to win this exam. I have seen people with the highest grades in academics struggling to pass the prelim well. Why, why go far? You have this example of Aditya Srivastava, All India First Banker. 2021 he wrote, he failed in prelims. Imagine after two years somebody who is going to be a topper failed in prelims exam. We had the same example last year also, Ishita Kishore failed in her first two attempts in prelims itself. It means if somebody is passing next year with a higher rank or All India first rank and failing in prelims, it means that their preparation was mains oriented. Their preparation was interview oriented. Understand this? Very, very important. So why I am making couple of statements before I am going to the presentation is, no matter wherever you join, I don't know, some of you may be my students already, some of you may be deciding to join, some of you may not end up joining. Wherever you join, understand that people will hover high prelims. I, am, I agree that prelims needs that attention, I am not denying that. But if people over hype prelims too much and do not tell you anything about mains, it means they are not preparing you for the UPSC exam in a consolidated way. They are only addressing certain part of UPSC. See, if you pass in prelims and fail in mains, it is more painful than failing in prelims itself. And if you pass in prelims, pass in mains and fail in interview, trust me, it is heartbreaking. And if you pass three stages and you still don't find your name in the merit list, this is the most painful journey. Understand. So that is the reason why always address all the dimensions with equal importance. Okay. And in today's lecture, I will talk about this. Right. Now, anybody sitting here who does not know the structure of UPSC exam? Anyone who does not know the structure of the UPSC exam? All of you know, prelims is there, mains is there, followed by personality test. How many marks for personality test, 
Set, set, huh. 275. How much the topper this year got? This shows your commitment towards UPSC is a passing by affair, not a committed relationship. This shows you are not committed to UPSC. It is not that you must know. There are some must knows, there are some should knows. You should, if somebody has got something where I should be. The three people got top marks in interview this year, 215, generally about 200, you will have very handful of them, very few, single digits only, about 200 in interview. This year in interview is an exception where many people, many students have got beyond 200 and very rarely it happens, people are getting 215 also in interview. It is a very, very rare situation and not one, three of them. One more thing I will tell you. History has proved that whosoever tops the examination will not top the interview. What does it mean? What is the message on the wall? Who is topping interview, who is getting All India One rank, he or she is never getting the top marks in the personality test. What does it mean? Like we had our student Ayan Jain, All India 16th rank. When, when, because I, I, I was with him one day before or two days before when he went for his interview, he is perfectly well prepared, gave an exceptional interview, still got 160 marks only in interview. Had he also got 215 or 200 or 190, he would have got All India first rank. What does it mean? It means that if you are good in studies, writing skills does not mean that your personality is also good. What does it mean? Why they reduce your score in personality is if they feel this person is not the person who should be given the ultimate authority that is IAS or IPS, they will reduce your marks in interview, automatically your rank will come. So, while when with your personality test, you give an impression to the board, sir, I am the personality that the country is looking for where a particular responsibility can be shouldered upon with the trust. That is the dimension of the personality test, right? And generally, students think after mains personality test ki tayari karte, that is so wrong. So, your test of your personality preparation starts from day one, how you talk, how you dress, how you walk, how you respond to a situation, how you think, how you write, how you appear to the board, whether when I am meeting you, am I getting positive vibrations or negative vibrations, everything determines your personality. Just because you are coming to a class, you cannot come in Bermudas or T-shirt or something. Why I am making this statement is, after becoming an IS officer, you cannot roam around in Bermudas and T-shirts because the society does not accept it. If that be the case, what is stopping you from being formally dressed? At least it will give you a sense of pride in yourself that I am preparing for a particular nature of examination. Understand this? Okay? So change what you are. College days are over, the merry, merry joyful days are over. But trust me, UPSC is also pleasure learning only. It is not stress learning. My classes or for that matter, any classes which happen, there will be a lot of fun in the classes also because subjects are very heavy. So we make a lot of fun also. Okay? So I am assuming that everybody knows the structure of the examination. Okay. Now, anybody wants to ask any question in the beginning itself? I, I willfully chose his photograph and his message. What he says, our nation is defined by its people, not by its borders, right? And he says, we count on our civil servants to uphold this spirit 
and serve with integrity, dedication and empathy. To whom? To the teacher. See just such a beautiful statement is giving about the role of the civil servants in upholding the spirit of India. And he says the spirit of India is not defined by its borders but by its people. Why he made this statement is because this gentleman is known for anyone known for taking care of the diaspora wherever it is. Diaspora is people who belong to you. Like you have countries no? Singapore is there, Malaysia is there, Canada is there. In these countries Indian origin people are in large numbers. So he says when you are serving you are not only serving people who are within the boundary of India but you, you are, are also serving, serving people, people who are outside the boundary of India. India. That, that is, is one message. Understand. Okay? So you need to understand the facet of your function. You can be posted to anywhere in the world. You cannot say, so sorry sir, I return Indian civil services. I will not go to Afghanistan or Pakistan. You cannot say. If the country has chosen you to represent India as an ambassador of India in Pakistan embassy, you have to go there. Okay? So that is why because you are being sent with an intention to serve the people. Okay? This you need to make a point. Second is, anyone who can explain me what does this mean? Be a wolf in UPSC, not only exam, in service also. What does this mean? Be a wolf. What is that quality of wolf that is admired by the world, by the, by the entire nature? The, the answer is on the board only. A wolf can never be tamed. It means you cannot domesticate a wolf. You can domesticate a lion, you can domesticate a tiger, you can domesticate a dog, horse, elephant, any animal. But you cannot domesticate a wolf because it is born to fight. It will never submit itself to any authority which is unlawful command. There is, There are two types of command. One is lawful command and the other is unlawful command because it believes in the nature, its own spirit of hunting and surviving. It is its lawful command and being controlled by human, it is unlawful for it. So it does not believe in being controlled by anybody. So that is the reason why if you keep one wolf in your backyard, the others will come and take it. You tie it with whatever you want to, they will take it. That is the nature of wolf. If they are not able to take it, wherever you have tied it, they will destroy that entire place and 40, 50 of them will come. You cannot dare to open your door also and go out. If you go out, that is last exit. Okay? So understand that is the nature. As a civil servant, you should be like a wolf, not to be tamed by any unlawful command. That is the idea of civil service. We have, sir, I have to ask you this question. You said you are clear with this, so now we will go ahead. Now, achha, when we talk about UPSC, when we Patkon Matara, Patkon Matara, what if I keep it down? Uh, maybe, I, I know the reason. What comes to your mind? Motivation. Staying, staying motivated is the most uh, difficult part of the UPSC preparation because the preparation extends from 18 to 24 months. This is a general bracketing we do. So now tell me, is it easy to be motivated for 18 to 24 months? Now when we talk about motivation, there are two types of motivation. One is internal motivation, the other is external motivation. Of these two, which is short lived? Which, which motivation is short lived? Internal or external? Srinath, board consum set se camera. Set the board properly, Srinath, camera. Yeah. Which motivation is difficult? Srinath, 
set the board properly on camera. It is coming in a very crossed, very different way. That's all. Okay. Yeah. What is the which is short lived? You said external motivation. But how about internal motivation? There is a possibility that you may lose the internal motivation also. Kya hai? Yawning too much since the class has started. What time you slept? Yeah, here. Yes, yes. What's your name? Shankar. What happened? Why are you yawning? Since the class started, you are yawning. What good angle? Ratri and what good no? Twelve key. What do you need to let you? Late in the end, you slept at 11 o'clock, 7 o'clock, you slept for 7 hours and you are yawning. Hmm? If the youth yawns in the morning, what will happen to the country? Huh? What will happen to the country? Pakistan will be able to sleep in Pakistan because you are sleeping as a youth. Isn't that right? Shankar, if you are feeling sleepy, wash your face and come. Get up. Go wash your face and come. Yeah. There is a high probability that we may miss motivation also, right? Internal motivation also. What can, what can break you internally? The various things that can break, break your motivation internally, you know? What, what all it could be? Family issues. Family. Family issues. Very good. Low mass. Overall, sir, signage correction, low marks. Okay. What else? Feeling? 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 Yeah. Feeling? Feeling low confidence. Low confidence, self-doubting. Okay. Huh. Procrastinating. Uh, procrastinating. Good. Yes. Financial problem, a big problem here. Huh? This is a big problem. Huh? Good. This is indirectly indicating I will not pay the fees. Huh? Okay, good. What else? One problem nobody is talking. Fear of failure. See, you have got, I am sure, more than 90 percent in intermediate. Yes or no? And probably more than 70, 75, 80 percent in your graduation. Even then, why are you fearing? Who instilled that fear in you? Who instilled that fear in you? See, every year university results also come, no? Every year intermediate results also come, no? But does that result get the same media, social media attention the way UPSC gets? No, right? If I ask you who is the topper of Usmani University in BCom this year, I can thousand percent say nobody would know. But if I ask you who was last year UPSC topper, you will tell. Last to last year, you will tell. Why? Because this examination has got that media attention, be it print, digital or social. Right? So because of that, a false sense of fear is instilled in you. Now, if there is a probability that you may miss your motivation, be it internal or external, what will make you keep going is your discipline. If, if you have a schedule made, 11 o'clock I will sleep, 5 o'clock I will get up, do this for 21 days. After 21 days, you don't need an alarm, your biological clock will change and you will naturally get up at 5 in the morning. This is called a discipline. You plan your day properly in a disciplined way. Trust me, you don't need motivation, be it internal or external. Because you are a disciplined soldier, you are, you are 
intention to do something is not dependent on motivation it is purely dependent on your responsibility as a discipline to do whether you are healthy whether you are sick whether your mood is off whether something happened in the family whether you ate breakfast in the morning or not whether you had a fight with your roommate whether you had a fight with your teacher in the classroom nothing disturbs you because you are disciplined to do something at a particular time getting my point theek hai for one one and a half year my sincere suggestion is forget your birthday forget sankranti pongal because it will come next year again even if we are there it will come we are not there in this world also it will come so please do not regularly go back to home sir intlo oka chinna function undi sir naaku puttin roju no for one and a half year i may sound very what what you call anti social to all of you even if you consider me anti social i am okay with it but what i am saying makes sense why because in upsc if you take 3 days break you will take 20 days to cover that 3 days so there is no point and nobody is giving you those 20 days so you cannot take a break of 3 days trust me why because what will be covered 18 hours on average 6 hours a day 18 hour syllabus you will take more than 20 days to cover and that 20 days will never come and you will miss the backlink and the future link in your preparation you cannot take a break unless and until you are badly ill that you cannot attend the class you would not miss or skip a class and as such i don't give permission to students to skip my classes if you skip one class next class you can attend only after meeting me that's what i said i run few programs diksha program and all where i don't allow my students to take a break even after a even for a single day also understand this that is how this is more valuable than this rely on discipline not on motivation to excel in you take okay. one more uh, tip i would like to give you remember this in a year we have on an average how many weeks 52 weeks and per week you should give this much time to ups generally students ask sir in a day how many hours i have to study i generally don't believe in day wise hours i believe in week wise hours and in 7 days you have to clock 50 hours with upsc preparation and if for example you have 4 hours in the classroom 4 fives are 20 it means remaining 30 hours is your self preparation time and if you plan this 30 hours you will get this rank nobody can stop you unless and until the god has revenge with you for something you would have done knowingly or unknowingly okay if you plan this 52 into 30 around 1500 hours if you plan this prepare for this properly trust me nothing nothing in this world will stop you. but problem comes is you all think physically present and online also that you will get success from this 20 hours just attending the class will never ever get you success it will help you in improving upon the performance here for sure but do not expect your success from here it will not come from here alone i mean alone right but definitely this is needed for this understand that important okay now how to plan this 30 hours we'll come back to this in few slides remind me if i missed out sir how to plan this 30 hours i'll tell you okay but one notion of uh, belief that everybody has 
I would like to clarify here itself is I have, I have, I have I, when I do the counseling for students, many students come to me and they say, sir, I haven't finished my NCRTs. I'll take three months time to finish my NCRTs. Then I will come for class. I always tell my students, if you have studied NCRTs, well and good. If you have not studied NCRTs, it doesn't make any difference to the start of your preparation. Over a period of time, you will understand everything. And it is not that you have to read NCRTs only before your batch starting. Trust me, in the journey of UPSC, it is seven times reading of NCRT. How and when? I'll keep telling you. Generally, if you see the pattern, say, say for example, I assume you have not done your NCRTs. From your foundation, till you go and attend your prelims examination, it is four times revision. And twice revision happens from prelims to mains and one will happen after your mains when you prepare for your interview examination. This is how you need to read the NCRT seven times. Many toppers tell you NCRT is not a must. I do not believe them. And I want all my students not to undermine the importance of NCRTs ever in their life. Why? Because very, very important. If you see the 2023 paper, prelims paper, only prelims paper, 13 questions came from NCRTs, statements picked, put in the paper. And students came, sir, Lakshmikan, quality, I have read 100 times probably, where is this question written? I said, class 10. Indian polity, class 8, Indian polity, constitution at work, para 2, chapter 1. Literally, she started crying. Valasa did not read NCRTs. I said, welcome to the league. So, always remember, and for mains, NCRTs are like gods and temples to you. Mains ke liye NCRT is the game changer. So please try to understand that dimension. So NCRT is a must. Please do not. I have covered this. It is about attitude and not aptitude that will decide your altitude in UPSC. For me and for UPSC, you all are equal. That's the reason why UPSC said, Pass graduation, must have passed graduation from any university, accredited university. You get 35%, you get 95%, neither me nor UPSC cares even an inch. So what UPSC says, you all are equal. If you are all are equal, then it means it does not have any value. You may be highly what you call intelligent. That will not get you UPSC. You may be, your aptitude may be very of high standard. Very good. It, why? Because bureaucracy is a generalist job. It is not a specialist job. When you go for MTech, when you go for GRE, they are all technical jobs. There the aptitude matters. Attitude doesn't matter. But in bureaucracy, it is only and only the attitude matters. I want to do it. I will do it. I shall do it. How? I will tell. But the commitment from you has to come. So understand, it is your attitude. Can anybody define me? What is attitude? It is not that attitude that you use in a day-to-day -day parlance. Or I would say attitude. Not, that is not the real definition of attitude. Anybody who has already studied ethics, some part, huh? what is attitude? Okay, On a, in a very plain English, yes. Anyone else? Huh. Okay, see attitude means simple English. 
positive or a negative inclination towards a psychological or physical object. This is a physical object, right? My dream to do UPSC, is it a physical object? What it is? Psychological object. My love for my country is what? Psychological object. So, patriotism is a psychological object. Ideology is a psychological object. Like say, if I believe in Gandhism, non-violence, is it a physical object or psychological object? A psychological object. The same way, your dream to do UPSC is a psychological object. Now, what attitude said? Positive or a negative inclination towards a psychological object. If you have a positive inclination, where you feel, as I told you already, if you have a positive inclination that yes, I can, you will. If you have a negative inclination, can I? If you just shift the I from I can to can I determines your attitude. As you all told in the beginning, we have self-doubt. With self-doubt, you cannot achieve UPSC. So you need to have a positive attitude that I can, I will and I shall. That attitude will determine your altitude. Understand? This is what is needed in and it is not blind attitude. I can and Not that. Attitude supported with hard work. Definitely. If this is not there, nothing will happen. Trust me, nothing means nothing will happen in UPSC. Hard work. You need to work hard like a donkey and think like a wolf and behave like a lion in UPSC. Work hard like a donkey. Donkey. Okay? That's how you need to work hard. Okay? Now, yeah. What does this photo convey? What does this photo convey? What is the message? Ah, beta? Oh. That you are, that you are different. Everybody sitting in this classroom is different to each other in some or the other way be it physical capacity, be it mental capacity, be it attitude, be it emotional dimension, anything. But 100% we are unique than each other. And if we are different to each other, never ever come up. I see this. Generally in the classroom what happens? If one or two students are, you know, promptly answering any question, the others start feeling the stress. We would anni jep tu nada raman keri raz. Anni jep pe vaad peer list lo undadu. I am telling this very bluntly. The one who answers all the questions in the classroom will sit in the corner of the room and cry on the days of results. Because... He has spent his time trying to impress upon in the classroom and the willingness to learn has died. And the student who silently observes that I need to learn this, I need to learn this and works upon that dimension will find the mic in front of her with a news channel trying to talk to her. Understand this. So never ever get carried away that somebody is better prepared than you and never ever make any comparison in UPSC. Um, trust me, I am making this statement deliberately. All of you are capable of getting the first rank. It is only the attitude, it is only the hard work that time will determine when you will get the first rank. If Aditya can get, if Ishita Kishore can get, if Tina Davi can get, you all can very well get it. The only thing is that self-belief in yourself, 
right strategy and right hard work will get you there. Are you saying Are you Are yes or no? What it says? Hard work will beat what? Talent. talent. When? The talent does not work hard. Especially all the students who are academically strong. Who are academically strong. This page is dedicated to all of you. And all the students who have been academically weak, 40% pass, dhaka pass, complimentary pass, it is for them that they will make it big. This time also we have this All India 660 rank, no? Uh, Shankarappa Karuppa, a constable from Tamil Nadu. He is a 12th fail guy. His reservation 660, he will get IPS. Understand? Your history of pass or failure, academic excellence or opulence will not get you anything in UPS. Understand this. You will see people who are from IITs. See, understand. Don't get carried away that people from big colleges are getting top rank. People from big colleges are getting top rank because they have the attitude from the beginning. And nobody said that if you get the attitude now you can't make it. Dheeraj Reddy was my student who got the 173rd rank. IIT Bombay, against his wish, the parents forced him to go to IIT Bombay. B.Tech say, B.Tech say, he is telling, I am not interested. First year completed, top IIT Bombay. Second year completed, top IIT Bombay. Fought with his parents and said, uh, and the parents put a condition. You top second year also, we will allow you to come back. Just to come out of IIT, he topped IIT second year, came out, applied in distance education, cleared all three years paper in one go, wrote EPS. Dedication, understand this, the will to do it at any cost. That's where it is very, very important, understand. Last year also he was there, mains me score come higher. Mains me he got less, interview he got 193 last year. This year he got 200. Two of our students whom I have interviewed got 200 this year. Mohammad Ashfaq, 770th rank. Excellent student from Delhi. Economics optional. I was expecting single digit rank. Got 770. He didn't do well in optional. So understand how ex where excellence lies. The excellence does not lie here. The excellence lies Understand this and your your past rub it off. I, I come, I get students, sir, degree five years plus yes, no. Very good. Come, no problem. Sir, intermediate Rendizal fail. Hai. No problem. Come. Study hard. You will get it. Trust me, you will get it. Okay? So believe yourself and your hard work. Ha. This is a big chapter. How to work hard. Very, very important. See, there is a rule called 1, 3, 7 rule for revision. What you will read today or study in the class today, you have to revise it within 24 hours, the first revision. Within 72 hours, that is 3 days, the second revision. And within 7 days, the third revision. If you follow this 1, 3, 7 rule, what you have revised here on the third time, the third revision on the seventh day, you will never forget in your life. See, understand your brain. When you came from the hostel today to attend the seminar today, you would have come across so many things in your way, on your way to the institute, no? Many things. Do you remember everything? Matter of one hour only, no? Why is it that you are subconscious mind deleted all the unwanted information because it will heat up the processor inside otherwise. For example, if you are standing on a bus stop waiting for a bus number 100V, this is the bus number that you are waiting. Maybe tens of buses will come. 
will you remember those numbers why is it that your brain is remembering only that number for which you are waiting because the brain knows that you have sent a signal to your brain 100 v is what i am looking for so your brain keeps searching for that 100 v and allows you to remember only that 100 v 72 19 46 45 everything will get deleted in 10 15 minutes time span and but that 100 v will get instilled in your brain because you are repeatedly waiting for 100 v that 100 v will you tell yourself next day deliberately that i am waiting for 100 v no recall happens from the subconscious mind to the conscious mind that i am waiting for 100 v the same way when you read something 137 if you follow that imprints on your brain forever and when you are sitting to write the examination naturally the data transfer from brain to hand happens without any effort that is the reason why the first step for hard work is your revision no matter if you are not able to do anything other than revision but still you should do your revision okay the second is working on writing ability because of the nature of examination that you have had till academics your writing abilities have gone down the drain so you need to work on your writing ability from day one i'll tell you how for example you all have come to attend the seminars today when you go back home or to the hostel wherever you go take a piece of paper and write your experience what were your expectations did the institute or the teacher who was the speaker meet your expectations what all you learned from this what you need to carry forward for your upsc journey make a list so what you are doing when you are doing this what you are doing you are trying to recall what all has been taught you are trying to learn to frame the sentence you are thinking what needs to be done so this is how you develop the art of writing in your upsc journey two things i think i would have written somewhere diary writing i generally write diary writing understand this diary writing me and pavani sir we are the two teachers who you know insist upon diary writing what is this diary is today so for example you had a class on history and geography some concepts have been taught to you when you go back home take out 15 20 minutes time and try to write here in your own language what all has been taught to you and what you understood from that it will and believe me your capacity to write will increase by 100 percent see answer writing me hamesha yaad rukho. you are not recalling and writing you don't have that much of time liberty in ups you cannot remember and write you have to simultaneously think and write in upsc because recalling ke liye time nahi hai upsc there is no time to recall because you have to write an answer in seven an answer in nine minutes 150 word ka answer seven minutes mein likhna hai 250 words ka answer nine minutes mein likhna hai in those nine minutes if you give what you call sorry if you give three four minutes for thinking for recalling the data from your database you are out of the race it means you have not understood what upsc is expecting from you in the first place this is where maximum students falter in the mains exam and one more one more i will tell you here itself please please sit sir caller call her caller back See, in UPSC, understand one thing, beta. There is something known as, please listen. There is something known as, don't be a victim of this. I have seen many students, this burden of perfection in mains answer writing. In mains answer writing. Students want to write the perfect answer. 
UPSC is not asking. Why are you writing? Generally, if there are 250 marks per paper in UPSC, as we know, each GS paper has 250 marks, right? In this 250 marks, average what the students get is bracketing very good performing students, I am saying 95 to 105. It means less than 50 percent. Yes or no? It means out of 10, even if I get 4, I am there. Yes or no? I am there even if I get 4, 4 and half, I am there. 20 into 4 and half will get you there, 90, 95 marks. Now, to get this 4, do you need to write a perfect answer? No. But what we do is generally to write that perfect answer, instead of 9 minutes, you take 12 to 14 minutes. So what happens is at the end, instead of 20 questions, you will end up writing anywhere between 12 to 14 questions. For your perfection in the answer, we assume that the examiner is benevolent. Instead of 4, he will give you 5. Assumption. 12 fives are? Where are you? Where are you? Nowhere. So understand, in UPSC, it is very difficult to address this. You have to complete the paper, write all the questions, average answers. How to write an answer in UPSC? Fir kisi din session lunga. Don't worry. We will not get into that. But here I am trying to tell you that do not go too much into my vocabulary has to be good, my grammar has to be good, my content has to be supported with evidences, everything. I have to draw also. The handwriting also has to be good. You cannot write more than 12 questions. And even if he is too happy, he will not give you this. He will not give you this because to give a 6, if you give a 6 to any answer, it will go under 3 eyes. Unnecessarily, the examiner will invite the attention of the chief examiner to explain him why he gave a 6 to you. In UPSC, if you have to give more than 50 marks, the approval of the chief examiner is needed and the chief examiner will not approve of this so easily. So to unnecessarily avoid the eyes of the chief examiner, you will end up giving 4, 5 ke bich mein rakhe chhod do. Understand this as an examiner. So you won't get 6 in any case, you will only get 5. And if you get 5, you are a big game, big game. You are all India topper did not get this in any of the paper. He got highest 123 in GS paper 3. Or kisi mein hai. Imagine. So why do you want to run behind this unnecessarily this? Just write what he has asked. That's all. Yesterday I gave a question to one of the students who came to write an answer. I don't know whether that student is sitting here. I said, in what way the presence of Mahatma Gandhi, you change the nature of India's freedom movement. In what way the presence of Gandhi changed the nature of India's freedom movement. She wrote Gandhi ji kab paida hua, kyun paida hua, wo sab likhe lai. Mai bula, beta, did I ask all this? Understand what the examiner is asking you. Just because you know what everything about Gandhi ji. She wrote everything. Whatever she wrote is not false. It is all correct only. But the examiner did not ask. Wo jab padega, maine to ye pucha hi nahi. To wo kya dega? Out of 10, you tell me if somebody writes an answer to a question what has not been asked. If you were the examiner, how many you will give? How many you will give? You, even if you are magnanimous, bahut dil wala hai, kitna doge? But if you take a minute to think what he is asking and write something closer to it, definitely you will get two and a half, three marks. What the students think is filling the papers like degree exam will get you the marks. 
no the answer is no do not bluff in upsc if you bluff in upsc he will punish you very badly because they are not looking at leaders who bluff they are looking at leaders who are being prompt and very very integrity very very high standards of integrity okay so remember that part this self study plan 30 hours we'll talk about it identify your probable weakness day 1 whether it is a subject whether it is prelims mains english or mathematics or anything identify it as early as possible and start working on it i have seen students who identify history is my weakness and leave that subject aside and continue the preparation trust me that one subject will pull you down in upsc instead address that subject you need to convert your weakness into strength no end should be lose in upsc ironically it will so happen if history is your weak subject sala interview mein bhi history ke hi sawal तुमसे पूछेगा इट इज नेचर इट इज नेचर इफ यू आर वीक इन पॉलिटी डैम श्योर क्वेश्चन विल होवर अराउंड पॉलिटी ओनली इन इंटरव्यू सो यू कैनॉट कीप एनी एंड लूज इन यूपीएससी ठीक है नो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लानिंग यूर डे इन एडवांस डू नॉट गो बाई द विंड इन द डायरी राइटिंग विच आई वॉज टेलिंग before one day you should have written what you are doing tomorrow it can include your class schedule also attending class 11 to 2 pm so you need to plan before 11 am and after 2 pm those 30 hours of planning of the day minimum one day before if you can manage two days before well and good but minimum one day before generally i'll tell you what will happen is if you do not follow a plan you will read random reading jo table pe kitab hogi naturally lakshmi kanti hogi aur wahi padhoge 100 baar koi fayda nahi if you plan and read ke tomorrow i am going to read geography class 10 this chapter to this chapter you have to do that only just because your roommate is studying something you cannot change your plan let him change his plan according to you but you will not change your plan according to anybody you should follow a plan of your own self trust me as i told you before your rank will come from here believe me your rank will come from there take weekly tests seriously i see this with the students halaki abhi immediately it will not start maybe 3 4 weeks afterwards i see this being taken less seriously if you don't take your weekly tests seriously trust me you are cheating yourself not me or the institution i am very happy if you don't take weekly test seriously i don't have to work upon you i have to work upon you only if you take the test seriously when the mains will also start mains answer writing prelims and mains generally students write the prelims exam very deliberately they skip the mains exam saying that humko kuch nahi aata hai is he testing kuch nahi aata hai no he is testing something you write answer writing ability develops gradually it will take 6 to 8 weeks of constant supervision to improve your answer writing skills and in some cases maybe a little more also so you have to be consistent with your efforts okay understand you will have many classes answer writing skills i will come manusha ma'am will come some other sandeep reddy sir will come will constantly take your answer writing classes also okay this is what in this particular slide very very important who is dean smith happens to be one of the most world famous basketball coach he says 
over coaching is the worst thing you can do to a player what does it mean it will kill his natural talent it will kill his natural talent so do not depend upon everything on the institute or me you try to learn your own natural skill set also sir my style of writing is critical very good upsc wants it start developing that critical analysis of the issue say for example in upsc you cannot sit on the fence in the sense and say for example i think in one of the interviews also i spoke about it he will ask you what is your opinion about same sex marriage he is asking your opinion you say sir supreme court recently said no 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 it is wrong they will not agree because they are wanting to know what is your opinion and you should have your own opinion and how will that opinion come when you allow your own thoughts to take shape and start penning your thoughts okay yesterday one social issue happened related to communal violence in my in my place what was the reason how this could have been avoided who were responsible who acted upon time who did not act upon time why did the media project in some other way which was not true you should make a proper analysis of everything the day you start analyzing things only then that real leader will come out so when the ethics case studies happen when situational based questions are asked to you in the interview you will give a natural response and the flow will be so seamless you will also feel are it came so naturally the answer and they will accept it so that is why developing that art of thinking from day one is important and your own style of thought your own style of expression i will guide you but i will not teach you the grammar also so the over coaching be it studies or athletic you know games or performances over coaching is not suggested because it kills your own what you call <sighs> mistakes students do the first mistake is the gravest mistake the first mistake is the gravest mistake of all hurried preparation you don't give time it will build up stress don't do that give adequate time to yourself okay inconsistency in preparation sir i am not ready parents are asking me to write that is why i want to write parents have their own line of thought you try to convince them because if the upsc reforms are coming very soon if the reforms as the news is rumors are coming if the reforms come in that same shape then there will be trouble if you have exhausted your attempts you will be in deep trouble right so be very very polite when you try to explain your parent that i may need cup one more year of time or couple of months more time before i sit for the exam if you try to explain them properly i am very sure that they will be able to help you okay don't do that knowledge alone approach will not help as i told you it is the opinion also that should be added to that particular knowledge mugging up the data you can never do it even if i give you 10 years time mugging up of the data will not happen okay so mugging up of the data is not the process comparing your preparation we already spoken about this don't do this mistake please write all the points in your notes very very important each and every point and the first point as it reads subject wise strategy is a must subject wise strategy is a must see what do you understand by subject wise strategy what do you understand by the subject wise strategy hmm what do you understand subject wise strategy ante enti for example subject wise strategy ante enti subject wise strategy ha huh, tell me if i ask you now that most of you have not started your preparation most of you some of you have yes even to them who have not started preparation if i say which is the subject 
which gets the maximum attention or over attention what is the subject naturally the answer came polity now the question is now the question is why 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 polity is getting that much attention when in your prelims only 12 questions came 39 questions came in geography environment ecology one subject 39 if as per the existing last year cutoff if 39 correct is such as you pass prelims 75.41 was the cutoff for general category students 39 is 78 into 2 you are passed one subject imagine if that is so why i overdid this Anyone? Why I overdid this? And least addressed subject, geography. Why? 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 Why we are why we are overdoing? Huh? Polity is difficult to understand. Geography is difficult to understand. Okay. Polity is easy. Comparatively, I'll tell you why you are right. Because something which is easy to comprehend, you get a false sense of you get a false sense of achievement. It is an ecosystem, sir. Sparrows and so crows also. We all live together, so they'll make noise. Don't worry. At times, monkeys also come. Not we. Other monkeys also come. Huh. Because it gives you a false sense of achievement. Don't do this mistake. Take care. How do you know which subject you are overdoing it? Especially so when you do not have a plan. How do you know that you are overdoing one subject? Okay, she says that having too many sources is one way of knowing it. Politics, someone in Chi Lakshmi Kant of the book one of them. Any book you have bought other than Lakshmi Kant? Which one? No? But Lakshmi Kant is a big zero in mains. Probably big, I cannot draw bigger zero than this. But it is a much bigger zero in mains than this. Much, much bigger zero. But why somebody did not tell you that book? Have you ever heard S. G. Subramaniam? Nobody told you. Why nobody told you? If somebody is reading for UPSC, preparing for UPSC, before going, I will give you that book from the library, see that book. You will get the answer. Because people overhyped the prelims and people never allowed you to reach SC Subramaniam, which is equally good for prelims and mains both. Getting my point? Take care. If I ask you modern history, you will sprung up with answer spectrum. In the last eight years, not even one mains question has come from Spectrum. But why is somebody not suggesting you Shekhar Bandopadhyay? Why is somebody not suggesting you Sonali Bansal? Why? Because people want you to be dependent on them and not the book to get sub. So that you subscribe to the answer writing test series, paying 45,000, 50,000 rupees a month and become their dependent. When you can relieve yourself of any test series support, buying a 420 rupees sub book. Understand this. So when you get the question, if you have a plan in place, time plan, at the end of the month, make a table, Polity, how many hours I have given, 
history how many hours have given geography how many hours have given the answer is in front of you that's the importance of making this table every single day i'm telling you this is the strategy that the toppers follow which they will not tell you they will tell everything else but they will not tell you this why i am telling you this is i want each one of you to write your own journey of success if in the first month you feel you have given 60 hours to quality second month reduce it by 20 30 40 hours give the subject which you have not given attention and consolidate as i told you 52 into 50 hours see how many hours you are giving to what approximately 2500 hours approximately 2500 hours approximately 2500 hours divide this 2500 hours in the subjects that you have for gs then see why the success will not come to you understand this very much right so subject to wise strategy is very very important for all of you here itself i'll take 2 minutes to cover something related to current affairs how to make notes i'll take 2 to 5 minutes listen you may master polity you may master history you may master geography you may master every subject you can never ever master current affairs at any given point of time there would be something which you don't know and unluckily only that will come in the end which you don't know you will say sir i read monthly current affairs i read that nonsense pt 365 100 times but nothing came from there because you did not strategize your current affairs also what we generally do is we read daily current affairs also we read monthly current affairs also we read weekly current affairs also we read half yearly current affairs also we read annual current affairs also but that's not the way to read the current affairs i'll tell you how say for a example you are dealing with the subject of economy in every subject there are certain sections which repeatedly appear in the current affairs for example if i talk about economy this is one which comes no prelims paper will appear without this word no prelims paper will appear without this word no prelims paper will appear without this word like this there are few more maybe 12 to 15 what you do is when you open a book you create index economy current affairs page number 1 inflation 1 to 10 inflation page number 11 to 15 rbi 16 to 21 agriculture whatever news comes in inflation keep dumping in these pages what happens is say for example one news came on 1st january 2024 second news came on 1st april 2024 third news came on 1st july 2024 what is happening inflation is regularly appearing it in quarterly intervals in the newspaper right if in this it said inflation was this it said inflation was this it said inflation was this it means there is a trend that inflation is constantly falling and the question will appear in the past 3 quarters inflation is constantly at a dripping rate if you have written in one place only you can make that judgment otherwise you cannot so like this for every subject you need to have current affairs you take a 200 pages ka binded book say what do you call spiral binded book dedicate 50 60 pages for each subject or even 100 pages is also okay so that all your current of current affairs five six subjects se ostundi uh, what do you call economy environment ecology snt have one book for economy and polity one book for environment ecology and science and technology one book for ir and internal security these are the only places where you get from current affairs iske alawa current affairs kahin se nahi aata generally this is the structure so 
entire last one and a half year current affairs should be there in these three books with you with a proper who told what about what understand understand this so you need to follow this strategy only then you will get hold on the current affairs this is the most time taking in the entire journey of your upsc preparation current affairs will eat maximum time okay mostly next week we have a session on answer paper reading you will get a message on the group if you are interested you can join anusha ma'am would be taking that session if you are not have not yet started if even if you do not join this platform come over and attend that session okay now this word has been most commercialized in ups most commercialized word is var andar tittukuntunnan see in 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 <coughs> in delhi <coughs> in delhi only mentorship is sold at 60000 per annum you know what is mentorship aaj kya pad ke aao kal ye pad ke aa ja bas i was very recently jan feb i was there in delhi for two months i was sitting somewhere people came people paid money and people went i said sir isne paise kyun diye bola sir mentorship mein join hua i said you did not give any schedule or you did not tell i'll hold any exam or you did not ask him what he is reading what he should read you did not tell anything बोला सर यहाँ पे इतना हैंड होल्डिंग नहीं होता किसी के पास टाइम नहीं है वो सिर्फ आएगा वो बोलेगा वो क्या पढ़ रहा है वो ठीक है ठीक है नहीं है नहीं है दैट्स ऑल दैट्स द एंड ऑफ मेंटरशिप आई सेड सर कम टू हैदराबाद सो अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ मेंटरशिप मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पर्पज ऑफ मेंटरशिप इज दिस बिकॉज for your age you will trust your roommate only and not the teacher or the institution no matter what i would have done my graduation post graduation with three gold medals in law i'll tell you something about polity you will not listen to me you will listen to that roommate who does not know p of polity what you will listen to why it happens why it happens why 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 the art of persuasion fails for us and wins for him why it happens anyone endu gala jarutu hmm why you listen to the roommate and not to the guru or teacher peer pressure compulsion emotional attachment what else monute kalisi monutam idram ha ha why is it so you won't listen to me and listen to him only now that i have given you name of a book sg subramaniam padho beta 90% of you will not do that and you will still dependent on lakshmi why and you will be surprised to know the hot selling books no they are not great teachers they could be great authors when it comes to indian economy same is the story with ramesh singh also when it comes to polity same is the story with you know who is the owner or author of spectrum chepa hmm. ma you know by any chance how many number of lakshmikanth books are sold in a year
five to eight lakh copies in a year. Eight lakhs into seven hundred. Seven eights are fifty. Ah, uh, what is the cost? How many crores? Five crores. Fifty-six crores. अरे लाख लो आयत सुनना लो, एड उन दिलो रेंड सुनना लो, याँ भाई यार कोट लो, समझचरा नहीं की, मैं जीता बनता, एग्जाम पास होते, लाख रुपए लो, माह ही थे, बोनस जल थे, choose your career wisely नहीं, getting my point, understand, who is Commercializing what? Understand this very well. Okay, in UPS. See, why I was telling is, some books have been beautifully written, but not marketed well. I'll suggest those books to you in your journey. That will immensely help. What? That will immensely help. But the problem of these beautiful written books is. There is a small problem. The English is a little high. And Lakshmi Kant understood this very early. She will say Sadurad. English ni kinda this kunda. That's the catch. And UPSC is looking for good English vocabulary of the subject which is not there in the book everybody reads. Okay. If I ask you a question, if I ask you a question, recently the issue happened, no? Some small controversy happened recently. Some preamble copies were distributed by the government very recently, couple of weeks before, in which the words secularism and socialism were removed. What is the message on the wall? Then camera kitunda do tuna question. Mir camera kitundi japalebo. What is the meaning of the wall? What is the message on the wall? That somebody is trying to give a message somewhere that it may not be so in the future. As a bureaucrat, would be bureaucrat, immediately your eyebrows should raise. What is this happening? What are the provisions? See, understand one thing in UPSC. There is something known as horizontal learning. There is something known as vertical learning. Success comes from vertical learning and not from horizontal. If you are a doctor, assuming she is a doctor, she goes to the interview. You know what is the first question they will ask? What are the provisions related to medicine that have been written in the constitution? Related to health in the constitution? Batao. And she will look here, there, where. She read the entire constitution. Not that she has not read, but she did not pinpointly read what are the aspects related to medicine there in the constitution. That is where she failed to do vertical learning. So where you need to be very, very careful. And mentorship will help you in your vertical learning enhancement. This is very important. Understand. Okay? This is where the improvement in the personality happens. Keep you motivated. If I speak you, you will be motivated. Yeah. These three, very, very important. And out of the three, self-learning, those 30 hours, very, very important. You've seen this recently? It has come, no? Recently. Somebody from OBC, I suggest you apply as if you are general category. What is the difference? 0.5 marks.
how many marks 75 marks for whom general category students what is the marks required 75 I'll give you study material, 12-15 books dunga. From those 12-15 books in 2023, these many questions came directly. 66 into 2 is 1, 132. How many needed? Still you will not read the study material. Why? 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 I am telling you, you read those 15 books that I will give you, you will pass prelims and mains also. You will still not read it. Why? Market pressure, Lakshmi Kant, Lakshmi Kant, spectrum, spectrum, nothing will come. But you will read. Insights, insights. Test series, test series, test series. Kuch nahi hai. But you will still read it, still do it. Why you do it? Because somebody is constantly telling you, do this, do this, do this. That is the reason why you won't do it. Understand this very, very clear day one, where the questions are coming from. Where the questions are coming from. Do an analysis of that. Please, for your own benefit, I am telling not for today's session. Ask. I'll take some time for this slide. These are the mains ka pura cut off marks. General category mains cut off was 741. General category mains cut off was 741. Along with interview it was cut off was 953. So remember these two figures 741 and 953. Now Cut off, hai, cut off. See, we are assuming that all of us are general category students. Mains ka cut off kitna tha? We know that in mains there are total 9 papers. Out of that, 2 are qualifying and remaining 7 are counting for merit. So it means 741 cut off as a general category student, you should get from the seven papers. You know that the seven papers are essay, GS 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, these are the marks. Now, we know that it is of 250 marks each because I want 741 optional ka paper 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Shall we divide it equally? Yes or no? 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, maybe 125, 125. Making it 750 for cutoff? Yes or no? Not easy. Not easy. Trust me. Not at all easy. Especially this. Especially this. Especially this. How close he is to certain cutoffs you see. Your first ranker. Aditya Srivast. Now see why he has got the first rank. Maximum of his came because of Optional to some extent, not maximum. 
లిటరల్ గా ఆప్షనల్ వల్ల ఫస్ట్ ర్యాంక్ వచ్చింది నన్ ఆఫ్ హిస్ మార్క్స్ టిల్ హియర్ ఆర్ టాప్ మార్క్స్ వన్ ఫార్టీ త్రీ ఆల్సో హీఈస్ నాట్ టాప్ సంబడి జరి వన్ సిక్స్టీస్ ఇన్ పేపర్ ఫోర్ బట్ వన్ థింగ్ ఈస్ దేర్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో వేర్ హీ డిడ్ బ్యాడ్ if i count this as bad but i told you average is 95 to 105 he did not do bad average person gs paper 3 is not it. in the past people have got 170 plus in essay 170 plus in essay people have got 160 plus here this paper has always been troublesome most dynamic paper current affairs se bhara hai internal security is there environment is there science and tech is there disaster management is there every dimension of economy which is related to dynamic again is there in this gs paper 3 very difficult to perform well in this paper to understand you need to give a consistent performance then only you can reach there understand again as i said it is not at all easy to get this it is not at all easy to get this type of thing okay though he got 308 he got 308 148 plus 160 that 308 only pushed him ahead and fairly good marks in interview 200 is not a bad mark it is a good mark in interview though he is not the topper 215 is the topper we understand how he managed to get there purely because of subject wise strategy consistent efforts in all the dimensions of preparation last year he got 236th rank this year he got the first rank did he settle for less no he fought for more understand this okay <coughs> these are some of the hurdles you may face which i asked you in the beginning and there are two hurdles which i feel are the most difficult to address and one i will write losing purpose forgetting the purpose disinterest it when it comes to boys not the girls distraction many many not few many be it mental or physical girls are good in handling distraction boys are not great at it because the left side of the brain is good in some the right side of the brain is good in some that's the reason okay identify what may pull you down if at all identify out of this long list what may pull you down some of you may face this some of you may face this few of you may face this some of you may face this here boys are less affected girls are more affected in kante vaadu pattichukol first but girls have a tendency to sulk more if something goes wrong at home boy atle gaadu something else he will do okay identify what may pull you behind in your career okay understand anybody having any questions they can ask this is about our structure which will keep reminding you huh. the batch is starting from tomorrow onwards what is he saying courage is not having the strength to go on it is going on when you don't have the strength going on when you don't have the strength this is about courage what is courage you do not have the strength to go on but still you will go on that is courage and trust me nine months of foundation 
four to four and a half months, you have to push yourself. UPSC preparation journey chart, I would have drawn this chart for some of you while counseling. If this is the start point and this is the end point, the journey will start like this. The journey will start like this. It will take a dip and make a comeback and happen like this. This is UPSC graph. This is the time 10 to 15 days. Things will be under control. After 15 days to one month, that is when the motivation level stop starts going down. This is two to two and a half months. In some cases, three to three and a half months. This is the lowest in your journey of UPSC. This is where you have to be most disciplined come what may. Then gradually you will gather courage. This is the line of success. This is the line of success in UPSC. You will come here. You will cross this also and go up. This is the area you are doing unwanted things in UPSC unwanted work or unwanted effort that you will do in UPSC. Realize this is not needed. Come back and follow the success plan. Understand. So this is how your preparation will happen. And the people who give up in UPSC, 90% of them give up in this time frame. Who give up in UPSC. So, most crucial phase of your UPSC. As I told you, everybody sitting in the class is capable of getting the All India first rank. Only when they can cross this hurdle, they can cross this hurdle and continue the journey on this particular success plan. Only then that will come. Otherwise, it won't. Questions solicited. Anybody having any question? Ah, 30 hours. Ha, 30 hours. Time division. If I if I do it seven days, I generally tell my students to remove Sunday. Sunday to relax, rest, and everything. Okay. Six days we assume we have in a week. If I have to divide 6 by 30, it will be 5 days. It means I am asking you to study for 5 hours every day as part of your self preparation. And now how to divide this 5 hours, right? My, my experience I am telling you. First three months, don't touch the newspaper. It will only frighten you and it will take more time from you. Don't touch the newspaper. Depend on the daily handouts, current affairs that is given to you or go to the website and read the current affairs. Don't touch the newspaper. When to touch the newspaper? When certain sections of polity when certain sections of economy, when certain sections of international relations, internal security. Ye char jab start ho jayenge, 20% bhi agar syllabus khatam ho gaya hai, that is the time to start reading the newspaper, which will take approximately two and a half to three months. Take it? Only then we'll talk about newspaper. So first three months in this five hours, newspaper is not there. But daily current affairs is there. Newspaper is not there, but daily current affairs is there. In the morning time, when your mind is the fresh before coming to the class, try to revise the previous class and come. Morning time, dedicate to previous class revision. Two advantages. Before coming to the class, if you have revised, you remember what has been taught in the yesterday's class more correctly. 
because if you read yesterday night because generally throughout the day you are tired and in the tiredness you read there is a probability that you will take more time to revise first revision takes the maximum time the third revision takes the least time understand so the first division you are doing revision the next day when you get up in the morning for example i am assuming that you have one to one and a half hours in the morning you are doing the four hours revision in one and a half hours time right then i am assuming your class is from 11 to 1 and 2 to 4 these are the five hours going in the class next what timings you are having 4 pm till i am assuming that you are sleeping at 11 pm this is the time so we have spent i'll assuming one hour so we have minimum four more hours to give now when you when you travel take a rest for hour i am assuming your day starts reading day starts from 6 pm day starts from 6 pm and no sitting for more than two hours at a stretch no sitting for more than two hours at a stretch so i am giving you 6 pm to 8 pm what to do one is your daily current affairs one is if it is in the initial stages ncrts and the other is very very important upgrading your class notes this you have to do very religiously upgrading your class notes how much time you have taken two hours for the daily current affairs initially the daily current affairs itself will take two hours but gradually it will come down to one hour one hour 15 minutes then you are doing your ncrt what subject is being taught the same ncrt what subject is being taught the same ncrt you will be doing gradually in place of ncrt when the ncrts are over standard textbook or study material either of that will take that place right assuming 8 to 9 you are taking rest next rest means having your meal and other thing 9 to 11 2 hours you have in this one and a half hours and 30 minutes this 30 minutes is to plan your day next day plan your next day what should be done in this one and a half hour anyone what could be done Plan next day, no? plan your next day, 30 minutes have given. Somebody said answer writing practice, Kaun tha? Ma'am, revising, I have told here. Okay, I am told here. It is, whatever you have learnt, you will try to write. Mains answer writing practice. Out of all that I have written on the board, this is the line that will get you good rank in NCRT. Every single day, dead ghanta tumne kya kya likhna hai. Be it from this, be it from this, be it from this you will definitely write for one hour to one and a half hour in your own diary. Trust me, your success will come from here. Okay? And when the optional also starts simultaneously, gradually, this time will get reduced. That is when the stress will start building up. Because this will become from 5 hours to 7 to 8 hours. So that is when this squeezing time will start and this squeezing time will start. Okay? Optional ka whenever that will start, the making of notes, upgrading the notes should happen simultaneously with your classes. That is when the clash comes 
between GS and your optional that is when you will start feeling this is not sufficient. That is when you are feeling because Saturday you may not have classes only about a test two to two and a half hours. So you will get the full day of Saturday also to do and that is when you will stretch to half day of Sunday also. So gradually that will happen. But any given point of day, I sincerely suggest all of you, your learning should not cross 12 hours a day, at least in the initial phases. Because if you cross this time frame, you will and as I told you, this will happen. In sab ka dawa hai, iski koi dawa hai. Samaj mein hai baat. I have a medicine for all the problems. I don't have a medicine for this. I have a medicine for this also, don't worry. But I don't have a medicine for this. I don't have this you need to take. I cannot bring interest in this. It has to come naturally. And if you exhaust this interest initially, then fear you cannot make a comeback. Even this performance anxiety can be taken care of, but disinterest cannot be taken care of. They people, students, or some of you will come to me. Sir, I am losing interest. That is when I will get up from the chair. Okay, why it happened? And then I will tell you, tell me what all you have done. Usme first answer aega, Sir, I studied 18 hours a day. Then I will tell you, I gave you a warning not to study more than that. What exuberance, hurry. Aipo wala, aipo wala, aipo wala. Gestation period is there, no? Our gestation period is nine months. No? UPSC also has its own gestation period. Okay. Yeah. Any question? Amma? Amma? Day one Uddam. Day one Uddu. Huh? Day one, I won't talk about books. Gradually we'll talk. You already studied, started studying. Someday meet me separately. I'll tell you because otherwise these fellows will get confused. Paka, I'll tell you. I have a PDF, I'll share with you. You read that PDF, no worries. Hmm. Huh? See, in life also, you have only one option to choose, life partner. Can you choose your parents? Can you choose your siblings? Can you choose your neighbors? More or less no. The only choice is life partner. In so, in UPSC also, there is only one choice that is optional. And 70% of you commit a mistake. Take it. Iske five golden rules se optional se. Keep writing. Five golden rules while choosing an option. Rules while choosing an option. There are many students whom I told change optional, they did not listen, exhausted all their attempts. Okay? The first point is very, very important, past performance of that option. When you see, when you want to choose an optional, see how the students who have taken this optional have performed in the past. Every year UPSC submits an annual report to the government of India. Every year it has to do mandatory. In that it will give a detailed feedback how many students wrote prelims with optional, how many students wrote with mains, how many went to interview, 
how many finally successfully you know completed or pura details data and based on that few subjects like anthropology political science and international relations mathematics also then you have your geography then you have your public administration somewhere sociology comes here sociology comes here these are the optionals which are doing good these are the optionals in the past 10 years if i take if i have to name four optionals anthro psir sociology geography these are the four optionals which are doing good for some reason fabad has taken a back seat from 2016 otherwise when i was a student of upsc this was on the first position always but gradually the trend has changed and people are not taking fabad for various reasons and now again one more trend is coming students with technical subjects are also doing exceptionally good we have a classic example aditya also doing good right like technical subjects means engineering civil engineering mechanical engineering medicine subjects all these subjects are also getting thick understand fast performing second is very very important good faculty for that subject people come to me sir i want to take psychology philosophy then i ask cheppe vaadu evadamma sir edo oti sagada sir edo oti kaal markulu raavu okay i see this trend with the students own preparation for optional it is suicidal in upsc you do gs own preparation okay considered given that liberty optional me own preparation is not an option at all you have to be trained by an expert because the expectation of the standard of answers is in optional is of the standards of post graduation level gs graduation level optional post graduation level so for that it is very important you need to have a good faculty or a mentor doing this job okay third is good study material good study material fourth point is support in gs support in gs this is where technical subjects like math and engineering and medicine do not get a tick mark okay because they don't support you in any way in gs and last is very very important your own though i am writing this in the last it does not mean in the chronology in the last very very important i mean if it is having everything if you are not developing interest for that subject then it is a gone case you will not study that subject that's why i say give one and a half two months in gs understand which subject is attracting your attention based on that take the option again 90% of you will choose optional on somebody's recommendation or somebody took some optional that's why you will also take that option no and for any reason if this is your optional simple logic add one year to your preparation time if maths is your optional simply add 12 months to your preparation optional excellent there is no doubt there is no second opinion about that but it will take one year to solely prepare for this option and that time you are not doing anything in gs that's why i said add one year to your preparation time theek hai bada i hope i have addressed your question yeah anything test series are good only and only if you have studied the syllabus given for the test series 
if you have not studied the test series uh, syllabus there is no value to test series and if you ask my personal suggestion now chapter wise topic wise pyq books have come don't trust the test series go to pyqs test series are not good trust me because teachers don't make test series it is the students who have failed or appearing in upsc preparing for upsc they make the test series so the quality of test series can never match the upsc standards unless and until they are being done under the supervision of a teaching faculty of that subject which i ensure because outside it does not happen that's the reason why if you are getting out of 200 120 130 in somebody's test series when you come and write here you will get 30 40 you will struggle to get 30 40 because we try to maintain that standard of question and if you are reading the syllabus revising it then sitting to write test series fairly okay but even then i would suggest instead of test series open a pyq and do for the last 25 years who is stopping pyq is more reliable than any test series okay pyq ke upar ek class lunga in future i'll take a class pyqs it will take one hour to read what is pyq how to address pyq ek ghanta barbaad karo kisi din not today theek okay? hai yeah any parent having any question they can raise students also can talk aisi baat nahi aayega dheere dheere will see she's uh, added one word in the last i'm talking for that she added a word called vocabulary especially for the students from telugu medium background 10th work aina 12th work aina graduation work aina if somebody has studied in telugu medium this is for them for example when you are attending a class you open a book right page 1 say you start writing notes class notes right from back from reverse side start your dictionary of that subject dictionary of that subject what you do say for example economy class is started he used a word called inflation go to telugu dictionary write what is the word inflation like this your notes should come from the beginning your dictionary should come from the back and for every subject by the end of your subject you should have a dictionary of 20 to 25 pages where entire words related to that subject are written and if you revise this over a period of time you will master this subject much better than any english medium student i'll tell you one day one thing today simple thing i'll tell you today upsc is a game of 2500 words if you master this this is yours upsc is a game of 2500 words all subjects ka vocabulary where to use which word is the game in upsc once you do that automatically your score will go high trust me upsc is a game of 2005 words nothing else subjects naam ke vaste the day you understand what i am right theek hai got the answer yeah anyone else నీ కన్నా చాలా చదువుకున్నారు వాళ్ళు డోంట్ వరీ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ మిత్ దట్ యూ కెనాట్ యూజ్ హై ఒకే మరీ శశి థరూర్ లా రాసేయొద్దు ఐఎమ్ షూర్ వీ కెనాట్ ఆల్సో సో డోంట్ వరీ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ హై ఫర్ యూ ఇట్ ఈస్ నార్మల్ ఫర్ దెమ్ సో యూ ట్రై టు ఇంప్రూవ్ అర్థమవుతుందా నాట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నేదర్ అ ప్యూర్ మిత్ నార్ అ ఫాల్స్ దిస్ థింగ్ యూ సి సింపుల్ మా అండర్స్టాండ్ దిస్ if you are writing something if you have you chosen to write in impressive language will an examiner will get impressed or not but if you have used strong words not able to convey is there a value for it then the simple english will get more marks understand 
హై వొకాబులరీ ఇప్పుడు ఇఫ్ ఐ యూజ్ అ వర్డ్ పుసిలానియస్ ఏమర్థమైంది ఏమర్థమైంది అర్థం కాలేదు మార్పులు రావు ఇఫ్ ఐ యూజ్ అట్ టైమ్స్ వీ ఆర్ అఫ్రేడ్ టు టేక్ టఫ్ డిసిజన్ అఫ్రేడ్ ఇస్ ద వర్డ్ ది సొసైటీ ఈస్ బికమింగ్ పుసిలానియస్ అని రాసాం అనుకో అప్పుడు ఏమైంది పోయింది అర్థం లేని the idea is not see this is not a test of your english had it been a test of his english you would have been sitting in ielts class no ielts or toefl a class lo kuchina adigadu vastu it is not a test of english but yes vocabulary is important and this is how you will develop vocabulary for all the subjects over a period of time i'll tell you today itself where you will struggle to write answers which subjects you will struggle to write answers unluckily i take all the three subjects and out of three very 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 easy to listen to the class most difficult to write chaala baa untadi class vindaniki abba enta easy ga undi enta baa undi ventane oka question ichi answer rayandra ante pen gadalu so easy to listen difficult to write after this to some extent ir is difficult sas they have made it difficult it was not difficult once but now they have made it difficult because they are asking only philosophical essays to write upon okay so philosophical essays become one of our students uh, sainath uh, akhilan jeppe sabai he lost because of essay got 73 marks he lost his name in the final merit list by 9 marks last year he got 127 in essay this year he got 73 marks gap student 40 marks kavalsindanni 9 marks poin understand this so one subject will pull you down so you have to address all these subjects properly philosophical essay demand ni tappuga ardham cheskoni mottham essay tappuga raasesi vachesi that's where he lost the game avutadi నిన్న రాత్రికి కాల్ చేశాడు పాప సార్ చాలా మూడు పాడే చేయించారు సర్లే విల్ రైట్ దిస్ ఇయర్ విల్ కమ్ విల్ గెట్ దిస్ ఇయర్ పక్క నెక్స్ట్ ఇయర్ ర్యాంక్స్ ఐ టెల్ యూ టుడే ఉంది హై ర్యాంక్ మేబీ టూ డిజిట్ ఆర్ వన్ డిజిట్ అష్పాక్ విల్ గెట్ అ వెరీ వెరీ హై ర్యాంక్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇయర్ సైనాథ్ విల్ బి దేర్ సౌమ్య విల్ బి దేర్ శ్రీనిధి విల్ బి దేర్ ది స్టూడెంట్స్ విల్ బి దేర్ పక్క ఆజ్ బోల్ దిస్ సో ఐ నో దర్ ప్రిపేరింగ్ వెల్ దర్ ప్రిపేరింగ్ వెల్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఓన్లీ అ మ్యాటర్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ సక్సెస్ అట్ టైమ్స్ యూ నో వీ డోంట్ ఐడెంటిఫై అవర్ మిస్టేక్స్ our weaknesses initially okay? yeah uh, back benches the ranks will come from back only ha uh, bolo any questions this left is silent bro kya ho gaya ha uh, some sorry hmm no questions can we call it a day any questions in the ఎన్సిఆర్టి బుక్స్ నోట్స్ మేకింగ్ ఎలా చేయాలి అని అడుగుతున్నాం అది హాఫ్ అన్ అవర్ వన్ అవర్ లెక్చర్ అమ్మా అంటే అంత ఈజీగా అడిగేసేవని చెప్తున్నాను సి ఐ హ్యావ్ అబ్జర్వ్ దిస్ హ్యాబిట్ ఫ్రమ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ దే టెన్ టు అండర్లైన్ ఐఎమ్ ష్యూర్ నైంటీ నైన్ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ దిస్ హ్యాబిట్ right as a upsc student i am telling you never ever underline brackets pm bracket important for prelims bracket important for nets why because if you underline when you revise you read only the underlined part understand this very very important if you bracket it you will read the entire paragraph that is when the essence of the paragraph is taken home 
if you read only the paragraph the essence misses and generally students say prelims lo sir nalgu option lo rendu telustunnai rendu teliyatledu aa rendu endu teliyatledu ante nu adi underline cheyali so you left that to underline and did not revise it so that is why never ever underline paragraph put, put a p or put an m that's all and revise the paragraph and not the line or the word revision does not mean only reading underlined part it means re reading it concisely and uh, if i can use the word comprehensively not one by one word that's not the way to do revision okay as regard making notes from ncrt's or standard textbook see when you are writing running notes in the classroom no do this <coughs> say for example this is your पेज नोटबुक का एक साइड का पेज है ठीक है डिवाइड द पेज इन सच ए वे दैट वन थर्ड ऑफ द पेज क्लोज टू वन थर्ड मे बी अ लिटिल लेस यू लीव इट ब्लैंक ड्रॉ ए लाइन और फोल्ड द पेज व्हाट एवर यू डू इट यू वांट टू डू इट यू डू लीव दिस ब्लैंक फॉर वैल्यू एडिशन यू रोल यू राइट योर रनिंग नोट्स हियर यू राइट योर रनिंग नोट्स हियर and leave this part for value addition and this value addition can come from ncrts can come from standard textbooks can come from current affairs so you don't have to write another book for notes making of ncrts or something if somebody has taken a class on say federalism now what you do class notes i pen what you should do going back home important judgments case laws on federalism you will write here list 1 2 3 4 5 important questions on federalism that appeared in the pyq trust me your notebook will become bible उसके बाद तुमको किसी भी चीज की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी ना एनसीआरटी की ना पीवाईक्यू की ना स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स्ट बुक की नथिंग बिकॉज एवरीथिंग यू ब्रॉट डाउन हियर एंड आफ्टर एवरी चैप्टर लीव टू थ्री पेजेस सो दैट यू कैन ऐड समथिंग एंड वन मोर सजेशन आई वांट टू गिव यू विल नॉट यूज एनी नोटबुक विच इज नॉट ए स्पाइरल बाइंडिंग नोटबुक फॉर यू this is a strict suggestion no binded books for notebooks in ups it has to be spiral binded book only so that you can add pages in future understand this notes making samajh mein aa rahi hai baat this is only 10% we have much more to it we'll talk about it don't worry gradually we'll talk hmm anything else ఏంటండి పేర్లు చెప్పమంటారా ఓకే స్టార్టింగ్ విత్ అవర్ ఫేవరెట్ సబ్జెక్ట్ సార్ ఫేవరెట్ ఉంది సంతోష్ రావు సార్ ఇస్ దేర్ హూ హ్యాపన్స్ టు బీ ది ఫ్యాకల్టీ ఫర్ పాలిటీ అండ్ ఆప్షనల్ పిఎస్ఐ ఆర్ ఆల్సో అండ్ వన్ మోర్ ఫ్యాకల్టీ బై నేమ్ Kiran Anishatti sir is there who is also a polity faculty along with PSIR and public administration faculty the beauty with me is i bring that faculty as a gs faculty who is a subject expert in option that brings value addition to your gs also okay then you have your history where you have venkatesh kotte sir venkatesh kotte sir then you have sm azad sir who is from delhi who is an expert in history he will come for certain modules and very recently we have taken prajwal sir who will come for your world history part these are the three people that i will be calling for 
your history. For economy, we have Dhananjay Reddy sir, a very good faculty for economy. Along with this, you have S.K. Azad sir, sorry, S.K. Jha sir, who again comes from Delhi to take care of your certain dimensions of economy. Okay? So, this is for the three main pillars. Coming to geography, we have two faculties, Mohan Krishna sir, who is working for National Geographic Channel, who hails from Bangalore, an expert in world geography also, Indian geography also. He comes as per his availability, he does not come very regularly, because he is a very busy guy. And we have Vijay Kumar sir, who is a geography faculty, geography optional faculty who takes geography. Coming to environment ecology, we have both Vijay sir and also Anusha madam who takes environment and ecology. Along with him, we have Vidhay sir who is also an excellent teacher of environment ecology. Last year, Vidhay sir took in rapid revision prelims ka RRP. 6 hours of class of RRP, 19 out of 19 questions came from 6 hours RRP. So, an excellent teacher in environment and ecology. And again, Anusha ma'am along with this, she would take SNT. SNT along with her, Raj Shekhar sir, he is a doctorate in science. He also comes to take your SNT class. Okay? Ethics and essay are taken care of by me and when it comes to your IR and internal security, Sandeep Reddy sir is one very good faculty that we have, he will take care of them. Other than him, I will also come for certain value addition classes for this. Sandeep Reddy sir along with this, he takes Indian society and social justice sir also happens to be the optional faculty for sociology. This is where he is deriving his, what you call uh, this to take, the society and social justice classes. Any other subject left out? Koi subject raha gaya? CSAT is there. CSAT is there. Jairao sir is the guy who will be taking your CSAT, an expert faculty on CSAT since 2013 when CSAT as a subject was introduced in UPSC. He is one person who has the capacity to teach you to get the answer to the question without putting the pen down on the paper. That is the kind of teaching that uh, Jairao sir will give you when it comes to CSAT. Optionals may anthropology is left. We are considering two faculties. One is your uh, Venu Gopal sir who happens to be a doctorate in anthropology from uh, Hyderabad Central University, Venugopal sir. And one more Shivateja sir is also there. We will have to see who will take finally this anthropology. We are planning to start a history optional also by Venkatesh Kotte sir. We will have to see how many takers are there for history. Because history when I was a student was a very, very chosen optional by the students but the market killed history as an option because there are no teachers to teach history as an optional. So, that is the reason why gradually people started, the students started not taking that as an option. Okay? So, these are the faculties uh, who are coming and uh, we will also get environment and ecology. One more teacher, SNT, he teaches both forgetting his name, he's written books, no environment ecology, Neeraj Nachiketa. He will come for these two, Neeraj Nachiketa. And overall, Pavneet sir will come for value addition classes before you go for your prelims. An excellent teacher on many subjects. So, he will also come for taking few sessions for you. Okay? I will call him especially for answer writing, news reading, all those sessions. His sessions are also of very, very high value. Anything else?
in what sense ma'am? 1 and half hours daily? 7 and 9. Initially it will not come. See, as per the UPSC final exam standards, UPSC exam standards, you need to write a 150 words answer in about 7 and 250 words answer in about 9 minutes. Okay? Because kuch kuch papers ka questions alag hote hai, so this is the average time. When you will start writing, you may take this much time, 30 minutes, not hours, hello. 30 minutes and you may take around 40 minutes to write. Initial, it will take time. That's why I gave one and a half hour time to write the answer. Gradually, it will come to nine, nine to 10 minutes. It will come to 10 to 12 minutes. And this will happen, trust me, only in the examination hall. When you sit to write the grand test, when you sit to write the final UPSC exam, you can achieve this only in an examination setting. When you are doing this at home, at leisure, generally 9 to 10 minutes, 10 to 12. So, what I suggest is whenever you are writing answer, on the right top corner, try to write the time that you have taken to write the answer. Initially, what you would have to do, when you frame a question, you might have to learn the content and then write the answer. Gradually a time should come, a question is given to you and you start writing the answer. But trust me, this will take the maximum time of your UPSC preparation. Jitna mein 18 to 24 months ki mein baat karta hu na, uska 60% of the time is taken by this element of your UPSC preparation. Take it. I have a lot of questions. Is the sound still not there, Srina? Okay. You are able to listen? <coughs> okay. Yeah. Anyone else? Huh? Maths option is available. Yeah. It's available. If you have decided to take maths, very much. Most welcome. Yes, ma'am, you had something to ask? Behind, last corner. Ma'am, you had something to ask? No. Okay. Yeah. Anyone? Come, come, welcome. Welcome, come, come. We are waiting for you so that we can leave. Come, sit. Huh. Any questions? No questions. Lunch time, no questions. Nahi aate. That's the best part. Yes, ma'am. Come after your masters. You you told you don't have time. What you are doing, masters in? Do you, is attendance mandated there? Yes, mandated. Then you can take online. Can you spare four hours a day? Yes. Uh, then it's a guess. Not to worry. No, you can't. Sorry. You can't. 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 It would stress you up very badly. You will get exhausted and you will lose interest on UPSC per se. If you want to kickstart your preparation while you are doing graduation or masters, try to dedicate three and a half to four hours per day so that you preempt your preparation. You are only trying to start the preparation a little early. So that will give you an edge over others. But that doesn't mean that Aap masters karte ve hi aapka ho jana thoda mushkil hai because your subject is also a difficult subject where you need to give attention to. So what I would suggest you is 
you take online classes i'll give you a combination of both first year you do online once you complete your master come and join the off offline not a problem yeah anyone else explain optional electrical engineering in detail if it is better or no see any technical subject is equally good equally bad if you have that what you call hold on that subject if you have somebody to teach you that subject somebody to mentor you on that subject study material on that subject you take that subject it is not mandated you have to take mathematics sorry anthropology psir sociology aisa nahi hai if you feel in your graduation you have done justice to that subject and you can pull off on that subject very well see the pyqs once you see the pyqs you will understand can you write on that dimension or not and if you have a mentor study material and classes available go for it nowadays lot of institutions are giving classes on these technical subjects also so you can always make a choice okay tips for self preparation i'll do another class i'll go live because self preparation is a completely different uh, game altogether because usme bahut sari cheeze hain are you a working professional are you still pursuing your education so many other dimensions are there okay so we'll i'll take a separate class for self preparation any other question feeling hungry no sunday is not non veg day in hotel uh, hostel no sunday is not a non veg day it is a non veg day okay to so, jaldi nahi jaoge to khatam ho jayega hai na theek hai let's call it off we'll catch up soon all the best for your upsc journey any support you need any time you are just a call or a message away theek hai thank you very much you are all very good audience so obedient in your listening shankar did not sleep co coincidentally after that Yeah? Chalo good. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.